Welcome back to another video. This is another Entrepreneurial Life Series video. And in this video, I'm with my sister. And we both rock in the bonnets because it is like late at night. Like how? What time is it? It's 11.29. Um, for the past couple days, me and my sister usually started working around like 10 o'clock. So there's that. But right now... I am, you see the Cricut set up, um, the heat press right here, the laptop right here, I have the mat, so we really finna get um, to work. Um, I did an uh, order, um, I'm finna insert that clip right here. Okay y'all, so um, I'm just gonna insert this little clip. Um, I had a custom order for my grandma, she wanted her boyfriend's name on a hoodie. So that's just a custom that I just made his name. And then the back, I'm gonna show a little boomerang. It has shop now in my website. So right now I'm gonna just package it up. This is how I fold, this is how I'm going to fold the hoodies um, like this, just like how they are up here. Um, but I just wanted to let y'all know, this is my first one. Um, I was just here, just trying to test it out. I did the setup of everything and everything and I figured out everything and how to do it. So, yeah, so I'm going to show y'all how it looks packaged, and then we're going to jump right back in the video. So this is in the bag. I put it backwards, but I already done closed it, so whatever. This is going to Haiti, and I put the sticker, told it that it's large. So yeah, that was a customized order. Um, I edited out the previous video when I mentioned it because the video was just too long. But my grandma, um, she wanted to get a shirt for her boyfriend, I thought that was a good opportunity for me. Like, just a name, so I just put my website and stuff on there because he lives in Haiti, so when he gets the hoodie, people is gonna be seeing my website and hopefully that can generate sales and everything because apparel is the best promotion. Um, so we finna get to it. Um, you know, we finna get to it. She labeled herself as my assistant. Mm-hmm, because I am. That's her because when I'm when I'm serious, I get a little bit mean. Okay, but y'all, so I'm finna start now. Um, I'm gonna see if I can get some good angles of what I'm doing in the the the, 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 the design space. So right now, my goal is um. Well, I'm gonna show y'all. So this is the infusible ink. That I'm gonna be using. Um, I really liked how it worked, how it looked on the hoodie. So I'm gonna do that with the rest of the shirt. What I'm thinking of, I really don't know. Um, I think I wanna do two designs. I wanna do one with blue, and I'm gonna do one with black. I don't even know if we're gonna put stuff on the shirts today, but what I do know is that we're gonna design something today. Um, yeah. So there's that, and. Yeah, um, oh, I was, I got sidetracked. So, this is just, I, I used, the um, my little trimmer to trim it. So, I have this left of the first one, and I got a full second one, and that's it. Um, so, I'm pretty sure I need to buy, like, probably three of these infusible sheets for this project. I just like how the infusible ink look. I didn't try the everyday iron on. I did the setup with the heat press and the setup with the Cricut. And this is how vinyl look. This is a glitter iron on vinyl. And this is just the bag that they had us do. And I really like it. So, I mean, I, I think the infusible ink stretches with the material, but um, vinyl, like the everyday iron on, it just sticks on the material. So I want, I want to use the blue for like my quote and my website. Cause I know I, that's what I want to do in the back. So the back design is already set on every shirt and on every hoodie. I'm going to put either shop now with my website or I'm going to put my slogan, which is be you, be true, be benevolent. 
and put my website at the bottom. Um, I probably might put the slogan as a front design, but I have so many designs, but I know that right now I need to at least have only one or two designs for the website. And then like eventually down the line when I get more vinyl and more stuff like that and more money, then I can do more designs. So enough talking, we finna get straight to it. I'm finna open the design space and I'm finna uh, show y'all how that look and everything. So Okay, y'all, so on the computer, I already downloaded it. So this is the Cricut Design Space. Since I did the setup and everything, I didn't really record it because recording and doing the setup, it really took a lot. Like, doing the setup, we started the setup around 8 o'clock and we finished around 10 or something like that. It was just so many difficulties and stuff, but... Yeah, right now, this is the, this is the Design Space. So I'm gonna click New Project. I kind of learned how to do this a little bit, but not really. So, um, yeah, I'm finna click on templates real quick, and then I'm finna click on. I'm finna look for shirts. I'm finna do. I don't think I'm gonna just do the hoodie first because I already started with the hoodie, so I might as well find the design for hoodies. Um, so you scroll down the hoodies for templates, and. It's gonna pop up and they tell you that the templates is only for reference use only. I'm gonna choose a type. So the type that the hoodies are, they don't have unisex, so I'm just gonna put male men's classic. And I'm just gonna do just a normal size small. So back up. So that's how the hoodies look. If you zoom in on the design space. You can see it more better. But yeah, so now this is the front. And this is the part that I do not know how I want to design. But, so yeah. So, um, I'm going to get back to y'all once I figure out the design. Okay, y'all. So, this is the first design that I have. It's pretty simple. It's just like a, a definition. Um, I'm going to zoom in. So this is how like probably the front gonna be um, with the vinyl. It's just gonna have the name and it has, you know, just, it's the adjective and then have the definition and how the definition correlates with a Bible verse, which I think is very cool. And then the back is just a simple shop now, it has my website, but you know, I think that's just my first design. So, I'm finna design the second one, but that's just a little update. Hey, y'all. So, this is the second design. And we also have a third design that we are thinking of. I like this um, Benevolent Bay Black and Beautiful Entrepreneur. I think it's really pretty. Okay, y'all. So, um, I'm going with the first one that I had, which is like the word benevolent definition and then the bible verse that associates with it and then the back with my name and stuff so it goes all the way across and then it stops around like five so i'm finna like at least have some left over like under five so it have some space and not cutting into the board so i'm trying to put the um invincible ink right now and then i'll show y'all when it's sewn and then when it's cutting so all right so i have this already on and I use the brayer to smooth it out. Um, see how it's lifting. So I'm not trying to get like any prints or anything on it. So there's that. On the screen, I have it here. So as you can see on the screen, I have it and it's currently mirrored. So I'm going to press continue. All right. And I'm setting it to... Infusible ink transfer sheet, and they tell me to put it ink side up and put mirror on, which I did. So now I'm finna load it. So you see it's flashing. So I'm finna put it on any parts that's lifting. Push that down real quick. Okay. 
Now the cricket symbol is flashing. So when I press that, then it'll start cutting. And on the TV screen, well, my computer it shows it's cutting and it'll let me know. And you see the measurements? I use the measurements to make sure I had enough vinyl to cover. So now it's just cutting. Okay, y'all, so we currently, I finished weeding everything. So now my sister's helping me peel these off. Um, the infusible ink, I hate that it leaves paper marks. So I have to like individually go back and weed that out. But this is what we're doing now. And I'll let y'all know how it looks uh, when I get straight out and everything. Okay, y'all, so I weeded them out. I did all that. So now I'm finna put it onto the front. So, um, my little sister freaking sat this on the charger and burned it so we had to turn it off and clean it so it don't make no stains on the white hoodie white hoodie but we preheated these and we lint rolled it so there's that um so what i'm finna do is now i'm finna just place them to see where i want them Again, this, this is infusible ink, so of course it's going to look white before it looks like the actual color like it did in the first one I did. So, um, I'll look a little bit out there. Okay, so I put the letters. Y'all really can't see it. So I'm going to put the butcher paper that was included. I think I put the wrong side. Yeah, that's why. My bad, G. All right. And then now I'm going to put this on. Make sure. Okay. Make sure the strings ain't in the way. Alright. And then all you gotta do is press this and the timer will go. And I'm rocking it back and forth because it's bigger than the press. So I'm trying to make sure they get even heat. And don't try to do a happy Sometimes I just go off on your own. I'll leave for a couple more seconds, so. And I move it really slow, and when the timer goes up, like it dings, I leave it on for a couple more seconds just to ensure that's on there. Can I take it off? And y'all can see, so take this off. Alright. And I'm gonna do a warm peel. Hopefully this junk come out cute, cause I'm gonna be pissed if it don't. All right. Still, I right, like all of it. Ooh. So I let it sit and I come back when it's ready. Okay, so I'm gonna do the bottom verse first. Oh yeah. Camera don't do it justice. Okay. Oh, this looks so much better than in my mother. I'm so sorry, y'all. Yes, baby. Throw baby. Okay, period. This is actually really cute. Oh my gosh, y'all. What? I did that. Oh my gosh, this is really cute. So right now, my sister is lint rolling it real quick. So now I'm doing the back. Um, again, like I said, we already ironed it. So I like to wing it 
honestly, because when I wing it, my my sense ring don't be off like that. So I just wing it, honestly. So I'm just putting it how I want to. Like I said, you guys can't see it, but once I, you know, do its thing, whatever, then y'all will see it. So I'm finna do it again. So this is how it looks peeled. I wanted to uh, um, show the peeling process on my business page, Instagram. But this is how it looks peeled. Um, it really looks nice. And I didn't have to press both the front and the back because I already pressed the front with this. So yeah, so um, I'm not gonna show you guys the rest of the process with the other stuff, but I will show you guys the design um, at the end of the, of the video. Okay guys, so this is the second design that i created for the shirts and i really really honestly truly like it um so um these are the only two designs that i'm going to make and then i'm going to record a video of me wearing both designs before i put the pictures and stuff on my website but these are the two official designs this one and and this design um the hoodie's not straightened out pull it your hand so this is the second design um after a day the color really sets so again that's the front this is the back and for the shirts i didn't put the website but these are the official two designs i'm really happy that i created this i can't believe i created this so um i'm gonna show you guys a video of me wearing them before i put them on the website and then that'll be the end of this video okay guys so this is the shirt I have on this is a small don't mind my um my blueberry I have like a onesie on so I'm gonna try to fix that I have a lot of tits y'all but this is how the shirt looks and the back is plain this is how the shirt look it's actually quite snug a small so you see this is a side and it says black and beautiful entrepreneur and definitely babe so that's the shirt ew okay y'all so this is the hoodie to be honest i think i like the hoodie more than a shirt only because it's winter time and i like hoodies i wear hoodies more than i wear shirts and fix my tits again you know big titty problems who else got that problem i know it's not just me but anyways this is the hoodie this is a small so this is a small and you see the small goes all the right here so yeah then this is you know the wording and then the back shop now Nice but yes sis these are the hoodies so with that being said i hope you guys like comment and subscribe and hit that post notification bell um let me know in the comments what you guys think um or give me some ideas of what more to put on shirts that relates to my brand um or just a pair of ideas that i should do and venture off on find it with this 
period it's a whole business look anyway so yeah tune into my next video um i hope you guys enjoyed this entrepreneur series just bringing out the behind the scenes of me and my business and stuff and i'm so excited for my launch on the first i ain't never mentioned that my launch day my official launch day is january 1st 2021 new year's eve okay i'm gonna drop it at 12 p.m january 1st so i already did the website and everything all i gotta do is just add pictures now and i'm not taking pictures of the hoodies i'm trying to get my hair did matter of fact i'm gonna just take the pictures now and like i'm showing my face so boom i'm finna take these pictures boom that's how it is that's how it goes bye 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 crew and i'll see y'all in the next video uh, Fine, fine, no, but then, uh-huh Watch your love